Hey guys, this is Coach Chris. Welcome to my channel where we break down international level fights for strategies and tactics that you can use in your own matches. Today we're watching a short clip from Uzbekistan versus Iran, the minus 68 kilogram semifinal in the 7th Asian Taekwondo Championships. What we're looking at today though is not necessarily the technique he's doing, which I think is off the wall I haven't seen before, but specifically a point I've went over before of where are your where are you looking during a close during the close distance fight during the brawl so i'm gonna play this first boom nice headshot i think that happens i'll show you guys a replay coming up here right here boom this is it in real time front hand punch and head kick beautifully executed now during the replay, nice crescent kick there by Iran. One more time in slow mo, punch, kick, nice. Okay, now that we've looked at that, I want you to watch Uzbekistan's eyes as he's executing both the punch and the kick. I'll play it for you one more time. One, two. Nice. Okay, so I want you guys to look at this. Lands the punch. Makes sense. He's looking at the body. Kiap being loud, selling the point. Love it. Leg is calling, coming back. He's all, At this point, he's already going for the kick. He already knows he wants to go to the head. It's not like he's transitioning midway and thinking, oh, I'll go to the head now. He knows he's going to the head already. Where are his eyes? I want you to look at his eyes. His eyes are still looking here at the armor. They're still looking at the armor here by Red. So what does Red do? Red drops his arm because he thinks that's where the kick is going. That's why he dropped his arm. If I can, I can almost guarantee if after the punch, Red was looking or Iran was looking at uh, Uzbekistan and Uzbekistan was looking at his face, this hand wouldn't have dropped. I can almost guarantee this hand wouldn't have dropped because he's, oh, he's going to go over the face. He's going to keep his hand high or at least use his other hand to try and catch it or something. And he just takes it because all because of a small little eye fake. One, two, body, 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 and then switch at the last second to the head. That's why both, it looked like he's covering from me. I don't mean, I might be wrong if someone has a different angle here, but it looks like after the punch, eyes are still on the body, still on the body, drops the arm, and that's why there's no coverage up top. Because just just something as simple as looking at your opponent's chest gear when you meet to go to the head can make all the difference for points. So for coaches, for parents, for uh, other fighters out there, when you guys are in the clinch, Something to drill, even though you guys are, I, I'm sure you guys are drilling crossing kick. I'm sure you're drilling the inside kick. Something to drill also is if your player is going to the face, look to the body until the last second like Uzbekistan. If your players are going to the body, look to the face and hit body. Use your peripheral vision because it's going to get you guys points. Um, that's it for today, guys, and hope to see you guys next time. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.